Yo, yo, yo. Hey, good morning guys, Kevin here today up on Blackcomb Mountain and I'm riding with Andreas today. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andreas. It totally is. So Andreas, have you ever ridden a snowboard like this? It's the GNU Headspace. It's a twin park setup. I have ridden the, the head case once or twice. And uh, yeah, it's not really like my style of board, but totally fun for ripping some groomer laps. So. I, think you, I think you're lying because you call it the head case, but that's okay. Well, but. there's a head case, a head space, a space case. There's so many of them, Kevin, it's hard to keep them all, you know, together. In, in, in line. So we're going to get Andreas to ride my head space. But first, he's riding the 2019 LibTech Orca. So I want to know your thoughts on how the Orca compares to the head space for carving and free ride. Are you down, man? Yeah, man, let's try these out. Let's find out. Sick, dude. What bindings you got there? The Now Drive. So Andreas, how does the Orca perform on the groomed runs, carving it up? Oh man, it's still awesome on the groomed runs. It's extra bit of width really allows you to lay in a deep, hard arcing carve. You can really rely on the edges of this board because the overall platform is much wider. So that wide width really just gives you that extra room to get deep into a carve? Yeah, exactly. And then on top of that, you've got magnet traction, makes it like a serrated edge really good edge control. What about riding through that sort of like choppy terrain? How does the board like hold up? Do you feel stable? Yeah, I feel like the little bit of a rocker platform between your feet really helps you plow through the uh, chundery mashed potato-y snow. And then the back camber under your rear foot still gives you a ton of stability and you can almost steer the entire board from your back foot. All right, so we're gonna get Andreas uh, switch over to the headspace and then compare the feel. Enchant it with the spirits of the dead. <sighs> All right, so, Andreas, what size board is that? This is a 159. And what size are your feet? 10 and a half. 10 and a half, okay, mine are nine and a half, so our bindings are gonna match. Uh, what about your stance? I think our stance looks pretty similar. I ride 18, 18 at reference stance. Are you good with 15, negative 15, just for one lap? I can ride anything, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it, let's switch it up. Here you go. Thanks, man. I'll steal yours. Oh, this looks nice, dude. The old Orca with the blue. Love Perfect. The blue orca. It's my favorite one. Oh, you ride with forward lean, too. Wow. You don't like that forward lean, hey? Who wants to lean? How many degrees is this? Three or four? Uh, the forward lean? Yeah. Uh, it's a th three. Do you want to adjust it? It's super easy. Nah. Okay. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm making it work. Takes a little time. All right, so a storm's rolled in, making for some a little bit different conditions on this one. But let's do it, man. How are you feeling so far? Oh man, ready to try this thing out. <laughs> it's a lot softer, so it's gonna be a little bit more buttery than I'm used to. Yeah, man, and you, uh, you already found the good stuff. Let's do it. Yeah, cool, cool. Boom.
<laughs> you killed it, man. Dude, man, definitely not as practiced on that board. It's so much softer, <laughs> and I'm not used to a twin. I think I'll go back to my orca. Man, sweet. That was really fun getting to try out the headspace and the orca back to back. What stands out to you is like the biggest difference between those two boards. Oh man, it's so much softer in the headspace and totally more twin feeling as well. So a lot easier to ride and switch and faster edge to edge because it's narrower, but a lot softer. So I felt like I was uh, holding on for dear life at certain parts there. Yeah, that's, uh, I definitely saw that, man. And like for me, it was like the opposite. All of a sudden, riding the Orca, I felt like I was on this indestructible tank where I could just ride through any conditions. And the definitely a bit wider, so not as quick to turn, but the stability off the charts compared to the headspace for sure. But uh, both boards are super fun, and I think I still had a really good time on it. Yeah, any final thoughts on the headspace versus Orca? Yeah, man, I could totally feel the asymmetry to this board. You know, it's got a much deeper heel cut than it does toe cut. I totally felt that I could really pin in my heel. I really like that about this board. Nice, man. Yeah, that's like yeah. a hard thing to feel. So that's awesome that you could actually feel that asym shape. Yeah, it's just more intuitive feeling. It gives the board a more natural power on its heel. I think for me, like the biggest difference is like if you're looking for a snowboard, can handle riding through powder, can like carve up a storm, the Orca is definitely the way to go. But what do you think? Yeah, man, and this board here is the opposite. It's nice and soft and flexy. It's awesome for park riding. It's awesome for laying out a nice fat and sassy trick. Oh, it's all good. Happy. Hey, I was gonna say I could shoot a shot. All right, guys, Andreas, thanks for helping out with the comparison. If you guys haven't yet, check out Andreas's channel. What's the next video coming up, man? I'm doing a video on the new Karua shapes. We just got them in at the store, so I can't wait to talk about them. Oh, dude, I want to ride some Karua shapes. Yeah, man, they're such a cool company. They're out of Switzerland by two German brothers, but they're funded from Japan. Nice. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, you guys got to check out the yearning for turning videos that they've done. They're super cool, and they're in black and white. Any final thoughts on the Orca versus Headspace? Yeah, well, the Orca is definitely more indicative to my riding style. I like a directional board. I like a little bit of a wider board. I like having that C2X camber profile with a little bit of rocker between the feet. But overall, they're both really fun boards. I'm stoked on both of them. All right, so maybe next time we'll see you, there'll be like a big dome of safety on your head as well. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's putting a lot of pressure on me to be more safe these days, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. You never know. We might have to make some changes. Sick All right, man. man. Thanks a lot. Sick, man. Cool, cool. Later, man. Right, you see you, Mike? Yeah, good to see you, man. I'll see you around. For sure. Awesome guys, so it was really fun to get these boards going against each other head to head. Definitely the headspace is the much more lively, playful type of snowboard. And the Orca is super stable and great for hard charging. If you guys wanna learn more about these snowboards, I'll put links to them in the description. It'd be great to hear from you guys in the comments as well about the boards that you're riding. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there snowboarding and I'll see you in the next one soon.